Friends, do you know where the earthly city of Jerusalem was before it was moved to Israel? And was it always in the land called Israel today? Or was it in the kingdom of Italia better known as the Holy Roman Empire? Or was it the city that was called Rome before? Which was also called the Eternal City? Please continue on. Let's see if we could pinpoint where the city of Jerusalem was located. Matthew 15:32. Then Eluhim he called his disciples them, and then he said, I have compassion on this multitude of people because they have continued with us now some three days, and some of them haven't eaten anything in days. And I, e, Ben Eluhim, the Sovereign One, will not send them away fasting, lest they faint on the way. Matthew 15. 33, And his disciples said to, Eluhim, e, Where are we going to get so much bread in the wilderness, so as to feed and satisfy so much people? And such a great multitude of people? Matthew 15.34, And Eluhim said to them, how many loaves of bread do we have? And they said, Seven, and a few little fishes. Matthew 15. 35, And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the ground. Matthew 15 36, And he took the seven loaves and the fishes, and gave thanks, and brake them, and Elohim he gave them to his disciples, and the disciples gave them to the multitude. Matthew 15:37 And they all did eat and they all were filled and they took up what was left and behold when they did after they gathered up all the broken bits that was left they gather up seven baskets full Matthew 15:38 And all they that did eat were 4000 men and also women with their children and besides Elohim and the disciples Matthew 15:39 And then Elohim sent the multitude, away, and Eluhimi and the disciples them left there and they took off on their ship, and they went up the coast to Massalia and Magdala, to see Lazarus and Mary and Martha Magdalene, off the coasts of Italia. And on their way up they passed the city of Jerusalem that was about fifteen furlongs from the coast of Italia. Friends, I believe that the city of Jerusalem was in Italia. And quite possibly it could have been the city of Rome. There were other candidates for where the city of Jerusalem could have been. And one such place where it is believed the city of Jerusalem was in, was Byblos. Or the city that was called Acre. And one other such place was also Palestine which is now called the land of Israel today. Friends, it seems that there were several other sites where the city of Jerusalem was at one time or another. Friends, and if history and our biblical history and our geographical history and even our human history is in error, no wonder we all are confused and we could be so easily be misled. And if the Jews and the Jesuits and the Jesuits them have hidden the facts that Jesus is Judas and Yeshua and Yeshua and that he is the lawless one, and that he is the Antichrist and no man who sinned and the son of perdition, and that they have been doing it for years and even for centuries and even eons, what makes us think that any of our history isn't without any error? And what parts of our history isn't really true? And after all, God is said to be God real, the serpent of old, called Satan. And Jesus is said to be the devil and son of God. Friends, if this is the case then no wonder the world that we know, it is going to hell because everyone thinks that we all are the children of God and that Jesus is his son. And what a colossal deception. My friends, the Sovereign of the heavens and the earth, called Elohim, and also, E, the Holy One, have showed me the deception in the world and that it is caused by God and Jesus. And, Elohim, E, have called me to share His sacred holy name to my generation. And this is why I'm here on social media. And that is to teach the sacred holy name of Elohim, E and to share it with everyone who would listen and those who would take heed to the gospel of Elohimi. Because Elohimi is coming back very soon. And this is a reminder to everyone that will listen to me and that they may take heed especially those of you in Christendom and those of you who are religious. And also those of you who are non-religious, and that it's full time that you discern the deception of the lawless ones. 
and it is time to stop being so complacent and lackadaisical, and for us to forget about this herd mentality in following the religious crowds, even those that are of Christendom. And it's full time for us to seek out Eluhimi for yourself before it's too late. Friends would take heed and would you called upon your Sovereign Heavenly Father? The Holy One. And the Sovereign One. And the Sovereign King of all the heavens and the earth. Whose name is called Ahaman. And also Eluhimi. My friends, so, now would you then make a real effort to call upon, E. The Holy One today? Friends, to continue on, would you please consider this information about the deception in the world and about your soul salvation? And would you say this simple prayer? O Father, Amen, who art in heaven hallowed be your holy name, O, Sovereign One. Elohim, E. Please forgive me for my trespasses and my sins. And I now believe in your holy sacred names, and I now believe that you are the Holy One. And that E. You are the true sovereign one called Elohim. And, E Elu. And E Elu Ya. And, E Elu Elu Ya. And, E Elu E Ya. And that you are the Holy One that came down from heaven to save me. Amen. The End. Friends, please visit my YouTube channel, The Pure Gospel of Elohim. Thank you. And may Elohim bless you. Amen.